Hello everyone, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky here, and the God Emissaries came out today, so I figured the best way to do this, uh, to celebrate this update and all, was to check it out and to let you guys know how exactly the God Emissaries work and whether that's worth doing or not. There is a list of jobs that you can do if you remember, and we're going to check some of those out today, um, and I'll tell you guys if I, if in my opinion, if they're worth doing or not, or if it's just kind of a waste of time and a pointless update. But um, apparently there is some lore that you can learn from here. You can pick from one of the six god emissaries uh, of the six gods that there are, and then you can also pick one for like the one of the Ma Majorat guys from the World Wakes, and there's also an emissary um, that is no god at all. Um, so basically you get to pick whatever your favorite god is. My favorite is Armadil because uh, I've always been someone who likes you know archery and stuff in video games. So, uh, Armadil is my favorite god. Also, I think the Armadil armor looks the coolest of all the God Wars dungeon armors, so we're going to go with Armadil. Um, so, in, in any case, you're going to be able to do some work here, and I'm going to get a job, and then, uh, yeah, let you guys know what that job is, and get started on it. Okay, so after talking to him, he gave me a book, which, if you read it, is going to have some lore-based stuff, if you're interested in that. Um, I don't have, really, the quite the best attention span, so I don't know if I'm really up for much lore reading, but you also get a banner of Armadil, which uh, is, you can check your progress towards your jobs in. Um, it also said on the webpage when I read up that you start out with you start off with really low level jobs and you progressively work your way up into higher jobs so he's saying bring me either three bowls of scrambled egg or three bronze 2H swords that you made yourself so I'm gonna go get some bronze bars out of the bank I believe I have some and uh, make some bronze bronze 2H swords okay so that was pretty easy luckily I had some bronze bars just sitting in my bank so I was able to uh, quickly make those so we're going to turn in this job and see exactly what we get. Get the XP counter up here. I believe it was skill-based jobs. Um, I'm just going to stick with skill-based jobs because I'm guessing those are probably going to be the easiest and the fastest ones. Um, so unfortunately, uh, only got 750 XP, but of course the jobs are going to get better. Um, okay, fragments of a strange metal. So it says I need to fish minor woodcut, but only on items that require level 30 skill or higher to gather. So um, I might go do some fishing, actually, uh, because fish are relatively fast to catch. So um, I should be able to get these fragments pretty soon. Okay, I got 3k feathers. Hopefully that's enough. I'm just going to uh, fish away at the Barbarian Village and hopefully get some of these fragments and be able to turn them back into the God Emissary soon, and I will check back with you guys as soon as I'm ready. So, I found out something kind of hilarious. Uh, what happened is I used up about a thousand feathers while fishing, and I didn't get any of these rock fragment things, and I'm like, what's going on? So I decided, I, I realized, you know, you have to... Um, do skills that are level 30 or higher, right? And salmon are only level 30 and trout are below level 30. So I'm like, huh, maybe you need to go mining. So I decided to go mining because obviously gold ore is higher than level 30. And um, I wasn't getting anything either. either. And then I, ha I realized I actually had to accept the job. I had just looked at what the job was and I hadn't actually accepted it yet. So that was a big fail. But anyway, we turn in these fragments and uh, we get... Uh, 4,200, I'm guessing that's mining XP probably because I got bonus XP and I am wearing the uh, mining suit. Um, okay, so place either a bonfire in a large flag or a large flag in Varrock Square, Remington Square, Ardoon Marketplace, and Draenor Marketplace. Hmm. Okay, uh, we can do that. A bonfire requires 4 logs and 40 fire making, so I guess I can probably just use maple logs for that. So I'm going to accept that job and uh, do that as well. I actually remember to accept the job this time, not just look at it, so that's good. So for this bonfires one, um, it looked like someone actually just tried to just light a fire, but what you need to do is you walk into the middle of the of the Varrock Square, and I'm assuming the same with all the other places that you need to go as well, and uh, you'll get a prompt in your chat box of what you need to do. So just in case anyone uh, got confused there, I wanted to point that out. If only regular bonfires could be this big and this cool looking. Oh well. 
Okay, I have contacted all the emissaries. Let's see what kind of XP this gives. Um, I have only been doing skill-based jobs. I'm guessing exploration and combat jobs will start to give. Uh, will start out very low level and then begin to give decent XP as well. But uh, anyway, we get 7.5k fire making XP. So the next job is going to be. Um, we need to get more fragments. I need to pick pocket knights of our dough. Okay, so um, that should be fun. I hope we get to pickpocket Knights of Ardon, um only and not have to do the other things. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll pickpocket some of these guys. There, there's one. I'll pickpocket some of these guys and be back once I have some fragments. Okay, well that literally took like no time at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a very, very quick job. So we're going to turn in this one, and I'm guessing we'll probably get around 10,000 thieving XP, which isn't bad considering that took like five seconds. Yeah, 10,000 thieving XP. I completely called that. Okay, so, yes, written instructions, okay. Start another job. Again, as before, I will tell you guys uh, exactly uh, what's going on as soon as I know what's going on. Okay, well, actually, this parchment that you read, it is pretty confusing. But the basic gist of what you need to do is you need to go to um, three places that give... Well, three high-level trees, three high-level fishing spots, and three high-level rocks. And I decided to go to the rune rocks here. And you, what you do is you use your banner on the rocks. I already did this, but you will get some gemstones in your inventory. And if you decided to go to a really high-level place, like I chose rune rocks because they're the highest-level rocks, um, you can get some of these um, fine small gemstones. But you do need the mining level to mine them. For example, if you wanted to do the rune rocks here, you would need 85 mining. Um, and I'm going to go to magic trees now because they're the highest level trees and I presume you'll also have needed to have 75 wood cutting to uh, get to gather the resources from the trees and then I'll go to a shark fishing spot um, and the same with the sharks you'll need 76 fishing to do that but once you have these gemstones you can use them to power the artifact and once I have the wood cutting and fishing gemstones I will show me powering these this metal artifact Okay, so I did get the materials from the woodcutting and the fishing. You get the stones from the fishing and the sticks from the woodcutting, obviously. And you just want to use this metal artifact on the anvil, apparently. And this should be able to work it. Alright. And now you have to empower it using runes. So, um, there's a specific order for this. Fire, earth, air, water, body, mind. Okay, fire first. And then earth, and then air, and then water, and then body, and then mind. Alright. So, my uh, artifact was all powered up, and now we have to contact the emissary again, and uh, see what the reward is. Hopefully, um, it'll be a pretty decent XP drop here. Okay, so it's only 10k XP. I guess I will take that in fishing because that's the slowest skill and oh an additional 10k xp in crafting or smithing I'll do that in smithing and then an additional one in magic rune crafting or summoning so I'm or, or prayer so yeah I get a total of 30k xp that's not bad and I now have a uh, a banner an improved banner so that's pretty cool but anyway, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, I just did an intro, and I did uh, pretty much a full walkthrough of all the skill-based jobs. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the XP isn't great, but uh, yeah, I I still think this is probably worth doing. Um, so I'm presuming that every day you can get some more jobs from him as well. The jobs aren't great, as I said. Uh, a couple of those jobs, like the thieving job, that took about 10 seconds for a 10k thieving XP, so that wasn't bad. But hopefully you guys have a better understanding of what God Emissaries are like now, and you can really decide if you think this update is something that you would enjoy participating in, or if you want to give this one a pass. So that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more content of all kinds.